Okay, so in this video, I will be showing you how to trace this image file and the curves on Rhino automatically using an app called as Vectorize, which is available on Food for Rhino. So we will be uh, selecting this image file and tracing it, the top view and the side view, and then you can make a 3D out of it like this so let's start okay so the first thing what you have to do is go into the food for rhino.com website and then you can see a app called as vectorize here you need to install this app so this can be installed for windows and mac version here and you have to download this there will be a dot rhi file this will install as I have installed it already I'm not installing it again so I cancel it so once the app is installed you can type for the command vectorize and it will ask you to select an image file and uh, I have my image file here already so here you can see uh, it's actually converting the image file into geometry that is curve in terms of curves so here you can set up the threshold you can increase it so I can have more closed loop and uh, I guess 67 is enough for me so this is good enough so once I click OK, so once I click OK, you can see the image is converted into curves. So I have a side part view and a bottom part view. So I can extrude both of this. So once I ungroup all of this, I can select the specific curves I want like this part and I can bring it on a separate plane and this one what I require for the side part now I'm selecting only this part and I'm gonna make it perpendicular okay so now you can see here that uh, this is the top part and this is the side part and uh, make it as a closed uh, surface here this is one single curve I can make it as a closed surface and uh, now I can extrude it a bit like this and uh, this one can be extruded like this and uh, as you can see now this is not exactly at the edge I can bring it at the edge like this so now it's exactly touching this part and uh, bring this little bit more lower now what I can use here is this interesting uh, boolean intersection function where I can select these two objects which this was the top view which was extruded and this was the side view which was extruded and if I select both of them and press enter I'll get the intersection part so yeah this is the intersection part so yeah you can use this patterns you can select these individual patterns and make surfaces and extrude it and cut it below to have a surface as you want.
Hope this video was helpful.